Data validation is a great way to get a list on your worksheet. So when you click on a cell, you'll see a little drop down arrow and you could select a month name from a drop down list. You can also add drop down lists with a combo box on your worksheet. Here's a combo box that has the same list in it. So if I click this arrow, I can see all the months. An advantage of using a combo box instead of data validation is if I look at this drop down list, there's no way to change the font size here, nor the number of rows that are visible at any one time. We're set to only being able to see eight months. And the final disadvantage of data validation is if I start typing January, nothing pops up to automatically fill that in for me. I'd have to finish typing it myself or select from the drop down list. Whereas with the combo box, as soon as I type JA, it fills in January. The font can be bigger and we can have here I've got it set to show 10 rows instead of eight. To add a combo box to your worksheet, you can go to the developer tab and click insert and go past form controls, go down to ActiveX controls, click on combo box, and then just draw a shape the size you'd like the combo box to be. Right click on the combo box and click properties. And here's the full list of properties we can use. The main things are where's the list you want to show up in that combo box and that's in the list fill range. On the worksheet I've got this list and it's named list A. So for list fill range I'll just type list A and it can be lowercase or upper doesn't matter. If I want the value to appear in a cell after I select it I can link this combo box to a cell. So I'll put D1 just so you can see how that works and I'll click close for the properties. Now I haven't changed the font size of this or anything yet. To see it work, right now if I point to it, there's just a four headed arrow. To be able to use it, design mode has come on automatically. I'll click that to turn it off. And now when I point to the worksheet, I can see the cursor appear or I can click on this arrow and select a month and it appears in the linked cell that I set. If we want to make a change to this, we go back into design mode, click on the combo box and then right click to get properties. To change the font, I can click this little button and choose a different font or font size. So that was in font just clicking the little three dot button here. The other thing I'll change is the number of rows that are visible. So in here, there's a list rows setting. Right now it's at eight. I'm just gonna click in there and I'll make that 12 so we could see all of the months. I'll close. Now that I'm done the changes, I'll go out of design mode. And now I can see a full list of months in a bigger font.